Hey everyone, it's Jason, and this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide. As a first-time cruiser, what you should be doing before you board your cruise ship so you can have the most amazing experience possible. Number one, research your ship. Even before booking your cruise, I highly suggest you research and watch YouTube cruise ship tours of each cruise ship you're considering. There's a wealth of knowledge and cruise ship tours out there, including mine. Don't rely on a travel agent, a friend, or a cruise consultant to talk you into a certain cruise. Only you know what you like to do and what you want to experience out of your vacation. All ships are not the same even within the same company. So research it, because in my opinion, it'll have a huge impact on whether you enjoy your first cruise or not. Number two, don't book the wrong cabin. You'll hear a lot of advice on what cabin to choose and possibly ways to save money. As a first time cruiser, I would stay away from cabins called guaranteed cabins. What this means is you get a guaranteed cabin in a certain category, but the cabin isn't assigned to you. So my best advice is having a cabin above you, below you, to the left and to the right. Also look out for crew doors and laundry facilities. Now you may ask, how can I do this? One of the best places to research your cruise ship deck by deck, and I'll have all the links to the YouTube videos done for each cabin on your cruise ship that you're planning to book is cruisedeckplans.com. That's cruisedeckplans.com, and I'll put a link in the description below. I've been a member on this site and have been using it for years. And before I book any cruise, I'm on that site researching the right cabins to book. Number four, start your check-in process. So you've done your research, you booked your cruise, and at this time, I would set up an account on the Cruise Line website, and I'd also download their app. Most companies allow you to do the check-in process via both the app or their Cruise Line website. Now, if you're outside 60 days, you normally will not be able to fully check in, but I like to start the process. And this is important to remember because once the check-in starts, and this is usually 45 days before your cruise, this is when the cruise lines will allow you to pick your boarding time. So if you're getting to the port at let's say 10.30 a.m. and you have a 2.30 p.m. check-in time, you're just wasting time. So make sure you know when you can fully check in for your cruise. And at this time, I would encourage you to have your cruise insurance booked. Many cruise insurance companies will cover you for cancel for any reason if you buy travel insurance at the time you booked your cruise. Number five, book your specialty dining, excursions, Wi-Fi before your cruise. So after you've set up your account on the Cruise Line's website, you'll be able to book these experiences and items before your cruise. And I recommend as soon as you book your cruise to start booking these items. In those videos that you watch, there may be an Italian restaurant or a steakhouse that you want to try. This is the time to book them. Two reasons why. Number one, prices will 100% be cheaper before your cruise than when you are on board. We've seen up to 40% cheaper. Also, the best times are usually booked in advance. One tip, watch for sales during the year. Typically, all the major holidays have sales, with the biggest sale being around Black Friday. What cruise lines will not tell you is if you see a price that's cheaper, they allow you to cancel and rebook that experience or dining at a cheaper price. One word of caution, if you're booked at one of the specialty restaurants that's hard to get, for example, Yuzumi Teppanyaki on Royal Caribbean. When I see a cheaper price, I call and ask them to credit me the difference. Don't take the chance of losing that reservation by canceling online and trying to rebook. Number six, have a cruise packing list. As experienced cruisers, we usually start about 30 days before. As a first time cruiser, you may wanna start 60 days in advance. A checklist keeps you from forgetting things, and also you're gonna probably wanna buy some new clothes for the cruise. That's why I suggest 60 days in advance. I have a cruise packing list that I put together, and I'll link it in the description below. 
We print it off and use it as a guide and it really helps you from forgetting things. So I also have my cruise essential links from Amazon in the description, so make sure you check them out below. Number seven, make sure you have a carry-on. So you're fully packed, you're ready to head out for your first cruise. Make sure you pack a carry-on. In that carry-on, make sure you have your passport, your cruise documents, a swimsuit, flip-flops, and sunscreen. One word of caution, do not pack your valuables. Tech gear or prescription medication and luggage that you're going to check in. And what I mean by checked in luggage is when you arrive at the port, you'll give your luggage to a porter who'll make sure your bags get on board. FYI, I give them $2 a bag, so have a few dollar, one dollar bills on you. Anything important you cannot lose or that would be difficult to replace goes in your carry-on. So my bonus tip, if you're gonna have to wait in the cruise terminal to board your ship, this is when I go on the cruise app and watch the muster drill videos. This is a drill that has to be completed before the cruise line can sail. So we knock it out before we even have to board the ship. If you're a seasoned cruiser and have additional tips and tricks you'd like to add, please do so in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching. I would ask that you give this video a like and subscribe as it does help the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Happy cruising.